So I'm actually going through and I'm dating this uh, code for a book that I did back in 2009 using XNA 3.1. After XNA 3.1 was released, they released XNA 4.0. I never did update the book or the code for that. And I had some breaking changes in there. Uh, but now the mono game actually is running pretty stably on Windows 10 itself. I was going to go through the exercise of trying to get uh, some of this old some of this old code, these old XNA projects for the book that I wrote uh, to work. So anyway, this one here should be a, a somewhat complex one. Uh, so we'll be running it through the ringer here, seeing Mono Game uh, can actually do this. So we're going to do Fire Demo for Chapter 10. Hit OK. And yes, we want that version as our target version, and the minimal version we'll run on is the lowest. Hit OK. Alright, so here, well first of all, we'll go in here and say restore new good packages, so he'll be happy. And then down here, add a folder, we call it textures. And this was the bitmap that I had in there uh, from that. The con so this is my original folder from my XNA 3.0 code when that shipped on a CD for the book. Um, the way this works, the content pipeline, in the XNA days this was actually a totally different project and Visual Studio 2010 knew how to work with them. Um, now this is content pipeline, is actually part of Mono Game. So I am actually going to double click on this guy and and I'm going to copy this content.cs project in my clipboard so I haven't. And I'm going to say import. And then go here to my fire demo. Fire demo content. And paste this guy in here. And so this is going to be the content content proj. Which was an XNA thing. Open him up. And he knows that okay, he needs this texture and fire grade. So I can say build. And yes, I want to save. Uh, this guy and so he built so he succeeded and now he's updated all right so that is done I'm gonna open up game one and drag this game one over here copy that on my clipboard close it out go to this game one paste it over top of it get rid of this gamer services this is like um, avatars and things in that nature net is some networking stuff neither one of those is used XE library is a class library uh, that I've already converted. So I'm going to hit um, add existing project and bring in this guy. He's just a class library. He's a Windows Universal class library. And I also added the reference to this mono game dot framework. So when I created the mono game, uh, that template, and of course I got this by installing mono game to begin with. I should have mentioned that. Install mono game. And, uh, and then here are my references. I was able to just add him. Here, so just saying add reference and um, you know, browse, and then it actually grabbed it from this guy here. So x86 mono game v3 assemblies Windows Universal mono game um, framework DLL. Okay, and that's how he got at it. Now he's there. Now that I've actually imported this X, xe library, add a reference to my project xe library, hit OK here. All right, now I'm going to hit Control shift b to compile, and let's see what kind of mess we got. Okay, so Sprite Blend Mode Additive. doesn't like that on the batch because it is Sprite Sort Mode Immediate. And then we want to be blend state dot additive. We'll change it to that again. That's just a change between XNA3 and XNA4. And again, mono game is using XNA4. Let's take a look at texture usage. Pretty sure this just needs to be changed to a true for mini maps. And then there is nothing. 
so true for that and then this should just go away I'm pretty sure and now I made that happy so minimap is served with format so control shift B now okay F5 now let's see if this thing actually works or if we get an error Oh, look at that. It actually works. It resized and then it resized it again when I moved it. How neat. How neat my XNA fire demo. And of course, if I size the dump, it's not going to matter. It's always kind of hard coded to that thing. And it did that for speed purposes. But that looks pretty cool, I think. So, there you go. An XNA code from my 2009, and I was able to get it running very easily um, in as a Windows Universal. Which I mean, again, what makes that cool is I can come down here and, and say, "Bring up a phone," and run it as a phone, right? And it's gonna be this guy here, so on the phone, phone emulator, and well, it might not. Yeah, there he is. And there's running on the phone. And it's not even a very beefy phone to that. Okay, so you hit back. That closes down. So that's only a, that guy. I can actually then run him on a HoloLens emulator. Ooh, HoloLens. Maybe this might be the reason why I'm getting back into uh, some XNA once I found out they were running on um, Windows 10. And obviously, I do some Unity stuff, but. It's always good to have multiple tools in your tool belt. So being on right Windows 10 apps, HoloLens app, Universal apps, and using um, Unity or XNA or now Mono Game, it's that can be beneficial. So obviously this will take a minute because I didn't already have this one warmed up. But I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm pretty excited. So here's HoloLens. Hey. This is my gaze looking around. So there it is. Run HoloLens. How about that? Pretty neat, huh? Pretty, pretty neat.